Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about the different ways we have to hardly customize our lovely crop. You can check the link right there for the video on how to type a frame. You know me now and you know that I type all of my frames. Uh, hydro dipping is cover the frame with a polyurethane film so we can customize our frame. Customization can be very advanced and personalized to make a unique uh, piece of art with no more carbon visible. Pro and cons of this process will be discussed. So today we will compare um, two different processes. To entirely, to entirely personalized frame, we will compare hydro dipping and stickers. So, how can we personalize frame? Different process could be used. Personally, I use hydro dipping. Most of the time, you cover the frame with water and a polyurethane film. This process works very well, but it's really time consuming and not so easy to be perfect. There are more cons. Despite the warnish, sometimes the film can go off. Look here. And so, you have areas without hydrolytic. The final result is very good. It's perhaps the best way to have beautiful quad because you can use so many different patterns and colors. Look at the reverb. It's completely hydrotyped. This little Japaroa too. I broke one of his arm. You can see the impact. The hydrotyped layer just went off. This bit the part spreads. So hydrodipping is what I use, but it's really time consuming and a bit fastidious. It's not really expensive. If you dip separate frame, because clear coat is the most expensive step of the process. Everything is explained in my video tutorial on my YouTube channel. So today we will take this chameleon from Armathan, my Rasta quad, not enough of these. So we will compare the two process, hydro dipping and another process, which I don't use yet faster and somewhat easier than hydro dipping. It's vinyl stickers. We will try them on this harmatan. I broke it, you can see here. Hydro dipping went off. I have a spare frame, so we will use it with sticker this time to compare the two frames side by side, hydro dipping versus stickers. We should see pro and cons of each process. There is a third process to personalize your frame. Very easy and very fast. But you can't be as creative as with the other process. Here we can really do amazing customization. Customization, very novel. With The third process is more classic. It's nice, however, it's just painting. This rod is completely paint, black and blue parts. No really need of tutorial on how to make it. Very simple, just painting. But final results are really nice. You just need to be careful when you paint. And you need to prep the parts correctly. It's really nice, it's really fast. No real difficulties to do this, so I won't talk longer on this process. Just find the right frame, the right colors, and go on. Well, now it's time to compare hydro dipping versus stickers. First step is parts prep. You need to prep the frame. There is minimal preparation, of course. 
First you need to wash the frame, but not only the frame, but all the parts, which will have a sticker on it. I took stickers for the two sides. Oh, here, here is the frame. Other parts um, are put away for later. So I can put stickers on the two sides of each part. How to prepare the parts? Well, first you have to remove carbon powder and grease. And uh, we will paint the edge because when you put colored stickers on each side, green on each side, and the black edge, come on, it's just awful. I really think you have to be perfect when you customize and this green black green sandwich is awful. Stop it. When you use stickers, take five minutes to paint the edge. Please, it's very fast to do and you will take it to the next level. Details are so important. Camelon is hydro dye paint and as you can see that edges are hydro dye paint too. We have a really nice look. So here, we will paint the edge with green paint. Perhaps I will wear varnish, don't really know yet. Mm, some varnish will be nice. Um, well, some varnish with a brush to be faster. Washing, sanding of the edges to let the paint hook hard. We will paint all the edge of all the parts. For the edge, I use paint marker with old base paint. Links on the text below. This old base paint gives vibrant and long-lasting color. So we don't need primers layers before. So we can write on the carbon, no need of white layers before. Just paint the carbon. We will need two or three layers of green paint. Here is the final result. Every edge has been painted with three, two or three layers. Mm, it's time uh, to degrease and stick the stickers. For degreasing, I use alcohol or washer fluid. It's washer fluid for glasses. You can use isopropylic alcohol or everything with alcohol.
The complete dismantling of the chameleon is done and we can see uh, that the colors are more vibrant and lighter on the hydro dipping. It's not really a problem because pattern I used were, were different. So if I use a lighter pattern for the sticker, it will be fine. Uh, hydro dipping uh, here are perfect. I wanted to go faster when I hydro dipped this frame and I didn't, uh, I didn't sand the frame. So hydro dipping layer can't can now unstick and hook because the carbon is way too smooth, too slick. Click out, didn't hook too. Finally, this frame gets old quite badly. You can see I've broken the arm, but I'm really impressed by the result. Really, these stickers are look nice. Really, really impressed. We will rebuild the camera now and we will see how it looks with motors, camera, etc. Listen to that guy, I'm a big fan of these stickers. Really, the quad is just beautiful. I never thought how good the result will be. Really, really nice. Really easy, very, very easy to use. In five minutes, you customize your quad. It's so more easier and faster than hydro dipping. Really, really fast, and but there is some counts. Stickers can unstick easily. Look, especially at the edge of the stickers. Here, you can see the stickers is right on the edge of the TPU port, and it can unstick very easily. Look here, it's already unsticking. Stickers are really good quality, very thick and. So very resistant. They are very glossy. The design is darker than the other. Uh, the, the other uh, pattern I used for hydro dipping, but the final looks is really pleasant. Perhaps more pleasant than hydro dipping. But we have to test them over time. Will they hedge badly? Less badly than the hydro dipped frame? We will see. Let's try them. How would they survive to crash? Who knows? In a few couple of weeks, I will show you how the stickers are the hard, hard using. I will show you in a short video. So many thanks for the support. Feel free to subscribe and to hit the bell. I will really appreciate more videos coming. So stay tuned.